Hancock County schools have been under tighter COVID-19 guidelines, including one thing, all kids must wear in school a mask. But that's about to change. 7 News reporter Aaliyah Keller joins us live in the 7 Newsroom with where the mask mandate for Hancock County schools stands now. Aaliyah. Rebecca, a decision is in and the Board of Education voted 4 to 1 against the mandate. But that doesn't necessarily take away masks altogether. They're still optional. I spoke to school officials and parents after tonight's board meeting. I'm pleased. I'm really pleased. Parents like Tanya Dillon are reacting to the board's decision. You know, March 20th, 2020 is an infamous date as to when everything stopped and COVID started. So hopefully 2-22-22 starts us in a new direction of not wearing a mask at school. There will no longer be a mask mandate for Hancock County schools. The board voted 4-1 to one against the mandate. This decision comes after their COVID cases have died down and the county turned green on the DHHR map. Even though the mask mandate is lifted, there's still an option to wear one. I know that we still have uh, children and families that are concerned and that is why the uh, mask mandate is optional. Um, they have a right to wear a mask. But the mask policy isn't the only thing changing. So is the quarantine policy. Kids won't have to quarantine for five days anymore. There is now an option for kids to get tested on the first day. But they'll have to wear a mask in school during that five day period. Dr. Natasha Smith with Roxby Lab says this will help keep everyone safe and in school. You're going to have to quarantine once that mask mandate is dropped, and so this is an option to keep them in school. Meanwhile, other protocols like disinfecting and using hand sanitizer will remain the same. The new mask and quarantine policies go in effect at February 22nd. Live in the 7 Newsroom, Aaliyah Keller working for you.